Hi everybody and welcome to Akilda Observatory webcast. In this webisode we're going to focus on the Lyrids meteor shower which of course peaks this evening and we're going to have a look at why we get these meteor showers and more importantly how you can view this for yourself. I know we're all on lockdown at the moment stuck in our houses but if you can get outside in a garden and it's a lovely clear night this is something you want to keep an eye out for because hopefully this will be a spectacular show. Meteor showers happen as a result of Earth passing through the tail of a comet that's making its way through the solar system. This particular tail is from a comet called C186G1 Thatcher, a comet travelling through our solar system at more than 110,000 miles an hour. Within the orbital path that we can see here, there's leftover debris on its path as it makes its way around the Sun. As comets are very icy, as it approaches closer to the Sun, the comet begins to sublimate turning ice immediately into a gas. As gas escapes, rock and dust particles are broken away, leaving a bread trail of debris through our solar system. Now as we orbit the Sun, we reach a point whereby we pass through that debris field, intersecting the orbital path of the comet. The dust particles then enter through Earth's atmosphere at such speeds that they develop a superheated pocket of air towards the front end. As they heat up, they emit light, and then they become visible to the naked eye. And that's what we're seeing when we see meteor showers. Eventually, these specks of dust vaporize entirely in the atmosphere, generally because they're no bigger than a grain of dust. The reason we call this the Lyrid meteor shower is because the radiant point of perceived origin of these meteors is the constellation of Lyra. However, if we look directly at Lyra, we're only likely to see short tails, as the meteors are coming straight towards us. So best to look maybe one or two hands width away from the constellation in the sky, whether that be above your head or maybe half a turn to the left or to the right away from the constellation of Lyra. And that's it. Get outside, look up and hopefully as the night grows later and darker, you'll be able to spot just a few. Join us again soon for more moonlit chunks of astronomy. Don't forget to check out our website kielderobservatory.org and book onto events later on in the year. You can do that by visiting kielderobservatory.org. Our calendar is up to date with all of the latest and new events. Come winter 2020, we're launching a whole range of brand new events at the observatory and we can't wait to welcome you along. So log on to the website kielderobservatory.org to find out more.